One of the new capabilities in Quadraspace 2011 SP1 is the ability to take and create and publish uh, bidirectional uh, parts list tables. By bidirectional, what we mean is the ability to click on the table that you have in Quadraspace and have the 3D parts selected in the 3D scene. So as I click down the table, you will see different part sets are selected. Uh, bidirectional is the ability to click on the 3D view and also go back to the table. So uh, from the 3D view um, in Quadraspace, I can control click and uh, it selects back into my table. So I control click the background to clear it. Um, I select the tire, for example, and it selects into my tire uh, table here. You'll also notice that metadata is being displayed in this box down here. This also goes out to uh, your PDF. Now, this document was simply a template um, we used with the new document wizard, uh, or a very slightly edited template um, that comes with the program. So uh, you can uh, generate documents like this very simply by using new document wizard and picking the correct template. So once you publish, or to publish, I guess, you go to your publish menu, uh, you click PDF, you select uh, your different options, and then you hit uh, create PDF. I've already created one, so let me just pull that up. Okay, here's our document in PDF. If you notice here, we now have Adobe Reader viewing this document. These, the tools that we had set up in the Pages document have uh, come through, and we're able to use our mouse to rotate and pan the 3D scene. And going back to the bidirectional capabilities, we can click parts in the table, and these will display in the scene, and notice that the metadata has been presented here in this box. Um, so as I click through, I get different sets of parts determined by the parts list. And the bidirectional side of it again is as I click in the 3D scene, it's going back to the uh, parts list and selecting the proper item in the parts list. So there's the tire, the body. If we play, click this, we're going to get the seat. Um, so that's a very simple demonstration of bidirectional parts list uh, capability available in 2011 SP1.